Missouri softball team is on a roll as it has won seven straight and won the last five with a combined score of 53-1. to one. We've got to catch up this week with head softball coach Aaron Earlywine and Extra Bases with Coach E. They're starting off, Coach. Offense, something that, you know, talked about a lot and needing to be good this year, has been superb the last uh, few games. What have you seen from them, especially some of the hitters that didn't get chances last year, like Mackenzie Sykes and Carly Rose? Well, first of all, um, we've been getting production from one through nine, which is which is a rarity. You know, generally your one through four hitters are supplying most of the offense, but there are times when I felt as comfortable with the bottom part of the lineup as I have the top. So, um, but you know, along with what you're saying, we we've had some surprises from some kids that we didn't expect to have big seasons. Carly Rose is one of them. Uh, she's a redshirt freshman. We thought maybe two years from now she might be a significant impact for our lineup, but she's already jumped in and got some big hits. And uh, Mackenzie Sykes is a kid who's kind of uh, she's kind of a, a program type player. She can play any position. She works really hard at practice, and so you know you can't have enough of those kids in your program. But we never expected her to to have the kind of impact that she's having um, this year. Uh, with all that being said. Um, the the emphasis for our offense has been taken away from mechanics and the emphasis has been pit, put upon timing and pitch selection. Those are the two things that we're grading every game now and, and we've done that for the past five games and, and those are the best five games we've had so far in terms of run production so we're going to stay with that as long as it's working. Uh, you go on the other side, you're getting Chelsea Thomas doing great things, ERA below one this year. Um, two short outings for her, but what have you seen from her? She can use to develop her senior year. Well, we're in a tough stretch right now for Chelsea because she, she's had this blister on her finger. Uh, we're trying for that blister to form into a callus, and, and we don't know if that's going to take 10 days or, or 20 days. Um, so until that happens, we're just trying to keep our heads above water. Um, and as good as she's thrown, you know, statistically, she's not had her best stuff in the past couple of weeks. She's been, just been trying to get through, really, for the most part. Um, you look at, you talk about one through nine, top of the order right now, Emily Crane, last year's Missouri Gatorade Player of the Year, stepping up for you guys in 357. What have been the keys for her going from high school and succeeding <laughs> at the level early on in her career? Well, Emily's a real free spirit. She's, um, uh, she, she's just a different kid. She's got a real outgoing personality. She says random things at random times. She's a lot of fun. So um, when you're trying to coach a kid like that, really the worst thing you can do is to give them too much. Uh, I didn't want to bog her down with a lot to think about. And, and so trying at, at, at every crossroads to pull back, allow her to play, get out of her way, um, to me has really been the key for her because we knew she was talented and we know if you just allow her to play, she's going to get it done. Um, and I think through time she'll learn the system, but I think in the meantime the most important thing is just, just to try to let her enjoy the game and play as much as she can. Uh, for fans that had been out to University Field, they've seen some of your footwork over at third <laughs> as uh, you got out of the way of some foul balls. Are you passing that on to the team or are they teaching you a few things? No, no, let me tell you something about my footwork. <laughs> my footwork is deteriorating. I mean, seriously, I got hit um, our first week of play this year, and that's the second time I've been hit in 20 years of coaching. And not only did I get hit, I didn't have a chance. I mean, the ball, the ball, I could see it coming, and my mind knew that my body needed to get out of the way, but my body didn't answer my mind. So um, I'm getting old is the problem. So I'm going to have to start wearing some gear or scoop farther down or turn it over to somebody else, or I'm going to get hurt really bad one of these times. Well, thank you for your time, Coach, and uh, good luck this week. Thank you.